Hey guys, this is Jam with Jamonline.ph and today we're gonna unbox the Accordion VR. So we're gonna review this one. So this is Accordion VR, a Focamax Accordion VR. So uh, this is a VR headset and compared to other VR headsets, this one is even more portable. So when I'm traveling, uh, I bring this one instead uh, instead of my VR box to this one or uh, my Google Cardboard. I have a lot of uh, VR headsets. I even have the Chair Mobile VR. Uh, there, but uh, it's it looks similar to this one. It almost has the same size. Anyway, um, let's open the Accordion VR. So uh, it's uh, as you can see, it's from Focal Max at focalmax.net. They have their website here, over here. So uh, it already comes with a uh, bag. So uh, you could bring this one anywhere in your in your pouch or in your bag in your backpack. I actually brought this one to a, to, to our province and. Uh, actually play this one there and uh, first things first let's talk about the specification so this one has a fill of FOV of 100 degrees to 115 degrees that's actually pretty good for a VR headset and then we have a pupillary distance of adaptive between 55 and 75 millimeters it's actually uh, I'm not really sure about that uh, how that works I'm not really into that and then we have the focusing which can be adjusted according to each eyes level of myopia I'm gonna show that to you later on and then we have a glass that required. It's a Fresno lens and it fits um, smartphones at 4.5 inch up to 6 inch. So if you have a very large smartphone, uh, don't worry. Uh, the Focal Max, uh, the Accordion VR uh, would probably, uh, you know, uh, your smartphone would probably fit on the Accordion VR. Uh, but if you're planning on buying the Zenfone Ultra, the Zenfone 3 Ultra, well, pretty sure that those uh, kind of tablets wouldn't fit on this one because those tablets are like 6.8 inch and then we also have here a glass free display within uh, glass 2 diopters for hyperopia and negative 5 diopters for myopia I'm not sure what those are uh, what those things are anyway um, so let's open this one so uh, we have here the pouch then uh, we have here the very short manual so as you could see uh, we have here the manual and uh, how to use this one. So I'm actually uh, I actually know already how to use this one. So uh, Oops, there we go Maybe in a second as we uh, unbox this one. All right, so uh, As you could see this one is really portable although it comes with a free strap anyway uh, This one is really really uh, portable so compared to the Google Cardboard look at that one. look at that one so this one is uh, can be stretched out, but I'm gonna show that to you. It comes with a Velcro, that's why you could stretch this out, and you could also adjust the lens, uh, and also the other things because uh, it's made up of rubber and uh, it's stretchable, and you could do a lot of things about it. So uh, compared to the VR Box 2, as you could see, this one is really portable. So if you're traveling, going to school, or going to work, this one is uh, better for traveling. So. Um, Wait, wait a second, give me a second. So I'm going to show um, this uh, Accordion VR, how this one works. So as you could see, um, you could see here the lens. We have the square lens in here, uh, the Fresno lens, and then we have a foam. This one is really comfortable. The foam is really comfortable and then we have a uh, hole for your nose. If you have a pointy nose, no problem with that. Uh, but most Asians don't, but uh, like me, I don't have a point, you know. So uh, this is the one that I'm talking about earlier. So you could adjust the myopia by uh, adjusting the velcro in here. So uh, as you could see, uh, you could stretch that out. There we go. So if you want to stretch it out, no problem. But uh, remember, uh, you need to adjust to the myopia. Uh, that uh, fits in your eye. I'm not sure what mine is, but I guess it's uh, 200. Yeah, so you need to set uh, to place this one on 200. Yeah, there we go. So, unfortunately, uh, you also need to uh, place the other side to 200 also. And uh, unfortunately, if you do not have really good hand, I mean, if you don't. Uh, place the myopia level at the right level well, it's kind of getting uh, grubby and uh, confusing to me all right so we have here the another strap because uh, that one is placed at the top so you need to place that one here oh there we go so give me a second there we go so uh, that's that is where we place our uh, 
so I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. Alright, so uh, yeah. Okay, so this one we're gonna place it at the top. There we go. So uh, here's our, uh, I don't know, what do you call this one? Our uh, VR headset. So um, this is where you fit in your smartphone here. So uh, I have here my Nexus 6P. I'm gonna show that to you. I have here my Nexus 6P. And of course, I need to open um, a Google Cardboard app. That's the basic application that you need to run, uh, I mean, just to test out the VR. Unfortunately, we don't have a free controller or there's no button on the uh, cardboard, or I'm sorry, on the Accordion VR. So uh, I'm gonna show that to you. So we have here the cardboard VR. Then I'm gonna place it here uh, on the side. So there we go. Uh, one advantage of having uh, the Accordion VR, is, aside from being a stretchable, is its body. It's made up of rubber, and uh, you could stretch it out if you wanted to, and you know, adjust it uh, without too much hassle and without the wording of breaking this one up. So uh, there we go. All right, so uh, there we go. So yeah, 200 myopia just fits in right in my eye. So as you can see, we have a hole here for the camera, but unfortunately, I'm using a Nexus 6 speed. That's why you cannot see the camera. Uh, that's why I can't use the camera of my smartphone. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. So uh, uh, using this one is uh, kind of very less to me. I'm not sure why, maybe because of the myopia. I have to adjust it to, I guess, uh, 500. Uh, I have to adjust my myopia to 500. But uh, there we go. So, uh, depends on your preference, you know, guys. It, it, always, it will always depend on your preference. But uh, in my eyes, I, I think it's for 500. Fits right uh, for 500. Uh, and using this one, the glass isn't the best that I've seen on a VR. Actually, uh, one of the best that I've uh, used for VR for smartphones is uh, the Gear VR and the VR Box. This one. Uh, this one is, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm already satisfied with this one. But uh, I was actually hoping for more uh, on this one. But again, I'm actually satisfied with it already. If you're planning on using this one, no problems. Uh, so you could use this one without too much hassle. But uh, adjusting the lens is really a pain in the ass for me. So uh, I'm not sure. Well, you cannot see what I see right now, but it's really a pain in the ass uh, adjusting the myopia uh, of both sides instead of adjusting just the whole headset instead. But again, this one is really portable, and uh, I, I really like the color. The, the one that I got is my favorite color. This one is blue. But uh, again, I'm really uh, annoyed with. Uh, I have to adjust the myopia on both sides and right now, oh, right, like right now, it doesn't sink, I mean, this one's already 400, this one is 500, and I'm just using a Velcro, so it doesn't stick too much if uh, you're gonna stretch it out, this out or if you have a bigger smartphone, but most probably uh, your smartphone is between 4.5 to 6 inch, and again, the advantage of having uh, this one, the Accordion VR, it's is its portability. So uh, if you're planning on getting one, so visit uh, focalmax.net. Uh, I've shown you the uh, link a while ago. So it's focalmax.net. So if you want to check that out, the um, if you're if you want a uh, VR that is really portable that you can bring anywhere without uh, taking too much space in your bag, then probably you would like this one. I actually like this one. I'm bringing this one everywhere because this one is portable compared to my other VR headsets but um, I'm gonna assure you that this one isn't the best VR headset when it comes to the lens but again this one is really com uh, comfortable and this one is also portable and uh, it takes less space compared to other VR headsets so yeah if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet well now's the time to subscribe so yeah thanks for watching our hands-on and review of the Focal Max Accordion VR I hope you like our vlog about this one so be sure to check out my other videos in my channel to support me. Uh, this is the best way to support my channel by just watching my video, supporting me, sharing it on Facebook, on Twitter, or everything. So yeah, uh, again, focalmax.net for the Accordion VR. So yeah, see you guys again on my next video.